go. What up, YouTube? It's rain. No, ma, 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 mask. Um, yeah, I haven't done a video in a couple weeks, I think. But anyway, I'm gonna get into this. Shouts to the slides, massive. Oh, type the massive. That's on my Snapchat. You know that me and the slides go everywhere. Anyway, this video here is um, I'm gonna try and do it as a review. But anyway, so these are creating a lot of hype. So let me just get into the box. Let me just show you. So these are the Nike Sock Dart SP. So these came out um, last week, Thursday. Um, today's date is the 30th of June. So you can work out the date and go backwards. So they came out at um, two locations, actually no, three locations to my knowledge. Foot Patrol, um, Nike Lab, and Dover Street Market, and then online in enough different retailers. But anyway, um, sock darts are, are causing a stir. And you know what it is? You know what the funny thing is? And it shouts out to the massive that actually know about trainers, sneakers, sock darts, and yada, yada, yada. People have said, oh, sock darts is brand new and it's revolutionary, like 2000 and, I think the first one, the first major release was maybe the beginning of this year or 2014, I think, maybe. Everyone was going crazy and saying, yeah, Brent, like, shut up. Sock darts have been out since 2004, maybe, maybe even 2005. Um, yeah, quite revolutionary. Like, I, I don't get, actually, let me turn the flash on. Madness. Anyway, so, right. So, revolutionary. People are going to be saying, why are they revolutionary? So, firstly, um, this strap. So, oh, just to, sorry, a bit, a bit more information. Um, so, this is part of the um, Independence Day Sock Dart Pack, or the Independence Day Pack. So, um, you've got the red, and then you've got the blue. There was a white, but the white was just too white. I, I wouldn't wear them anyway, because they'll just get too dirty. And... Red, I, I, I prob those are not for me, as you can probably see on the box. They are a UK six. Um, people say they run a half size big or whatever. I don't think so. But anyway, let me get into this. So, you've got this kind of strap that goes across, um, and if you look at it here, it actually comes over. Blah blah blah. It's actually made out of silicone. Silicone being the stuff that women use in their boobies. Yeah, you get me? You feel me? <laughs> anyway, um, you got that night swoosh there. Um, probably going to be the teller when you see the fakes. When you get up close, like the, the quality isn't that great. I don't know if you can just see the, the glue. Actually, you can put, it's more prevalent here. These retailed at £110, but they are revolutionary all the same. Remember, they, they first came out in 2005 or 2015. Um, and what it was, what was so revolutionary about them, even though a lot of trainers are using it now, um, is this um, computerized upper, computerized material upper. Whatever that means, I don't know. I'm not a Nike expert and don't work for Nike. Um, I just think that it's kind of like a nylon-ish, a cross between nylon and some other materials. Very breathable, very, very, very light these trainers are. Um, at the back, that is supposed to be a Nike sign in the back, but it just doesn't look, you can't really see it. Maybe it's got a plastic thing over it. No, it hasn't. Oh well. Anyway, um, when you look at the sole, like ultimately I think these are just for like, these are your ultimate walking trainers. I can't see you doing much else in them. Or maybe even football. You could have a little kickabout or a little training session in these. Because um, obviously the sole is very flexible. Um, and then you've got, I think they call it a geometric sole. Um, maybe because it's got that those kind of patterns there and whatnot. Um, the red, kind of wassy still. Um, can you wear these with trousers? I'm not sure. Unless you're doing roll-ups or pin rolls and all of that malarkey there. Um, probably more a shorts kind of trainer. Definitely one for summer. Definitely one for summer. Um, and as people have asked me about resale value and all that kind of stuff, the, I think you'd be able to pick these up for near enough retail. They've retailed at 110. Oh, look at that. They retailed at 110. Um, but I think you're probably, you could probably get them for maybe 120, maybe at a push. At a push, you might someone might try and fleece you for 100 and. 15 or something like that 
Oh, sorry, 150. What am I talking about? May fleece you for 150. So just beware. But anyway, sock darts. What are you thinking? Have you got a pair? Innovative shape. I will give you that. I love the shape on the sock darts. Um, some people like them. Some people hate them. But boy. But anyway, rain the mask. I'm going to get into this, actually. I might do a separate video for this. I'll take the masses that know about that. If you do know about that, watch the ride. 